Hello. Today I'm making a rum cake. I'm gonna start the process. First I have to chop some walnuts. I like uh, to buy the walnuts whole and then I chop them myself and because it tastes better. I'm gonna put them in a Ziploc bag and mash them up in there. That should be good. So let me pick up here a little bit and then I'll show you what the next step is. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna spray some olive oil inside the cake pan and then I'm going to sprinkle all the walnuts in the bottom. And make sure that it's totally covered. For these pans sometimes it's easier just to use like regular butter or margarine and spread it with your hand. It's easier to get into all the nicks and crannies. So. Now we're just going to roll them around and that's how it should look. Okay, so now we're going to set this aside and I'm going to show you uh, the rest of the ingredients and the mixing of them. The first ingredient for the rum cake is the yellow cake mix. It doesn't have to be Betty Crocker, it could be any brand, but the yellow cake mix. Uh, one small box, it's uh, three ounce of the vanilla jello pudding. Okay, four eggs, uh, half a cup of water, cold water, half a cup of cold water. And it also takes half a cup of vegetable oil and half a cup of rum, the dark rum. It doesn't have to be any particular brand. It could be any as long as it's the dark rum. Okay, so that's what we're gonna make the batter with. So let's make the batter and then we'll go to the to the glaze. That we'll do that later. mix the of jello vanilla pudding four eggs Okay, half a cup of cold water. Half a cup of cooking oil. And last but not least, half a cup of the rum.
Okay, it went over a little bit, but it's okay. I saved the eggshell for my compost pile. Okay, I'm gonna use an electric mixer because I have one on hand. The last time I made this cake, I made it at my mom's house and I, I forgot to take the electric mixer and I mixed it by hand as well as I could and it came out great. So if you don't have an electric mixer, just mix it by hand as well as you can and it'll be good. That should be good. We're gonna pour it in the mold. I didn't preheat the oven because I forgot, but it's not the first time that's happened to me. So what we're gonna do is bake at 325 and it's gonna be for 50 minutes. So timer 50. So if we'll check it at 50 minutes and if it's not done, we'll give it an extra 10, five or 10 minutes. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna put it in the oven right now. There it is, it's in the oven. So now we just wait, we'll wait for the 50 minutes and then we'll check and see how it's doing. Okay, I just took out the cake out of the oven and yes, it comes out clean. So, the temperature was at 325 for 50 minutes. So yes, it, it's clean, perfect. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it cool off. And then once we take it out of the mold, we're gonna make the, the glaze that goes over. I'm gonna try to turn the cake over now. It's been like about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes that I took the cake out of the oven. I think it's been 20 minutes. Okay, I'm, I'm going to try to help the cake along. Just this, I got this rubber spatula and I'm just going to put it through the side here. Nice and gently. Okay, let's see if we can turn it out if it comes off. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is it. This is the rum cake. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the glaze. 
which is actually like a syrup that's the word for it it's a syrup that we're going to make with one cup of sugar of granulated sugar one cup one stick one stick of butter which is half a cup and this is margarine but it'll it'll work the same and one fourth cup of water that's how we're going to make the mixture with that and then afterwards after we're done with the mixture and we take it off the the stove we're going to throw in half a cup of the dark rum okay but i'll show you as we go okay i usually don't do this but i cut the bottom part of the cake I just sliced the bottom of it and I cut it. I cut it in, in little pieces. I sliced it. The reason I did that is because I'm going to put it inside this can. I'm going to put it inside this can because it's for a gift. So the whole cake would not fit here. So I had to cut it like that let me make the syrup and then I'll show you when I put it inside the can. I'm going to poke some holes on the cake so the glaze will soak through. This is very important so once the so once the glaze is poured over it it will absorb all that rum glaze that we're make, gonna make. Now we're gonna start with the glaze that goes over it and for the glaze we're gonna need butter, half a cup of butter, one fourth cup of water. I already measured the, the water here onto this cup. Okay, one fourth, that's what one fourth cup. One cup of sugar. I already measured that here as well. And half a half a cup of the amber rum. So the first thing that we're gonna start is um, the fire. Turn the fire here. And we're going to melt the butter. The butter is already melted because I've left it out for quite a while. I left it out since I started baking the cake. The butter is already melted. It's pretty easy. So let's just break it down. water and the sugar. The sugar. The sugar once you add it you have to constantly be stirring it for about five minutes. constantly here and it's gonna boil like mad and continue to stir just up and this is what it looks like so now what we're gonna do to this is we're gonna Take it off the heat, don't leave it in the stove. Take it off the stove. And we're gonna add the rum. Stir.
Okay, so we're gonna pour the syrup into a cup. And now we're gonna pour it over the cake. Drizzle it. Drizzle it over the cake. already cut and it looks absolutely delicious this is what the cake looks like can see how moist it is. And that is my rum cake. Thank you for watching my video and please subscribe and hit the notification bell for whenever I have new videos, you'll be one of the first ones to, to know. Thank you. Good night.